Now let's see if it works. Now let's see if it works. Hello, welcome to the Shack Shack. It's 10 past, it's two minutes past. I do apologize for that. It suddenly froze. I'm not sure why, but it's okay. Happy days, here we are. Um, how are you? It, can everybody hear me? Can you hear me all right? The volume's on, I think. Yeah, it's all fine now. I bet we're all right now. Just give me the thumbs up that you're here. And I'm sorry that I, I'll have to sort out the title and that later. Hello, hello Samantha. Hi again. It's all right, we're gonna have a good day. It's all fine. It is never the event, but how you respond to it that will ultimately affect you. And it's fine, isn't it? All good. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Come on in, grab a seat. I do apologize, but there we are. It's fine. Let's crack on. Are you all there? Good. All good. You can hear me? Yeah. Good. Well, let's have a cup of tea then. Come on in, grab a seat. It's only a couple of minutes past 10. Sometimes you just have to have a second run at it, don't you? All fine, all fine. So, my friends, how are you today? I am so glad I've got these glasses because I feel like I'm in the room with you now. And, um, and today, it's day four, would you believe? Day four of Under the Sea. And our friend Stuart is in the building with us. So if you have any questions, Stuart is happy to help you. And, um, and I think we'll get started. So yesterday, I, well, we did those shells. Didn't that come out lovely? I was so chuffed with the shells. And we also did the coral, didn't we? So let's have a look at where we were. There we are. So, so we did the shells and we added a couple of starfish and we did the coral. And it was really, uh, it was such a fun session. I know from lots of messages that you really enjoyed the little, um, the little sand dollars, the mermaid coins. They were something special, weren't they? With the doves inside. And I did mention yesterday, and I, I wonder if you're up for this as well, I was thinking that it might be really cool to try and draw some droplets, water droplets, because they're not hard. Let's have a look. Let's just put this to one side. Do you fancy that? We could give it a go, couldn't we? Because we can, we can start inking this, but I thought, before we, before we crack on with the inking, and when we start inking, you're going to need your, your pens, okay? But I thought before we start with that, why don't we try some droplets? I, um, I tried it myself, and I think they came out well. So let me show you what I did, and then you can, you can have a go as well. Shall we? Shall we do this together? I think this would be really cool to try because we could do some bubbles, couldn't we? Coming from the beautiful fish. I think it's just a nice exercise. I mean, they do look three dimensional, don't they? They're not, obviously, just on a bit of paper. Right, doesn't that look weird? Looks like it's gonna roll off. <laughs> hey, how about that? Look, and then it's as flat as a tack. Isn't that cool? So I thought we'd try this. How do you fancy that, hey? I didn't invent this, goodness me. The internet is full of it. All you gotta do is how all you gotta do is Google how to draw water droplets. So it's a piece of cake. We'll just figure out I, I worked out the easiest way to do it, and that's what I want to share with you. Okay, but um, but this doesn't make me clever, this just makes me able to follow instructions on the internet. <laughs> that's all. Okay, so um so let's have a go together. And I thought, well, uh, the weirdest thing was, right, when I was doing it, I, was, I wasn't that impressed because I was thinking, this actually isn't working. But then what's so interesting is I, I stepped away from it and looked again and I thought, pow, it actually did work. So now let's have a go. 
And what I, what I realised was, and what I gleaned from the internet as well, was that this is where these pencils all come into play. So, so if you've only got an HB, that will work, but you're just going to have to press harder to get darker, you know. Um, if you've got these pencils, happy days, these, these graphite pencils from Faber-Castell. We sell them, of course we do. Um, but what, I, what I'm going to show you, what I used is a hot, let's put it to you like this. It doesn't matter which ones you go with. You want a light, a medium and a dark. That's what we're looking for. So I went with a really hard, see 2H, H would do the job, buffer black, so now we're getting a little bit softer and a little bit blacker and then four black, really dark. And that's how you can get the different, the different depths of greyness really easily. I also figured out um, that this is handy. You know the blending um, nibs that we use? The blending set? The, ben the, oh, the blending pens right? They, they really are great. When you get into the softer colours, um, they, they smooth out the shadow really nicely. Um, so that's quite cool. And then of course, <laughs> life wouldn't be the same without a rubber, would it? So I've got a rubber as well. Okay, good. And so I've got my rubber, just in case I, I overcook it. Got a couple of pencils, got a bit of coffee paper. Do you fancy having a go at this? Yeah, come on. Trouble is, I don't touch. Claire, I need this today. Not feeling so mentally perky. Welcome to my world. I'm not feeling so mentally perky today either. So that makes two of us. I reckon that probably makes more like 200 of us actually, love. I think that's one of the best things about the Shack Shack and getting together every morning. You know, you realise you're not alone. You're not alone. We're in the same boat. We're in this together, aren't we? And we can't do a damn thing about it, really, except, like I said earlier, it's never the event, but how we respond to it that will ultimately affect us, right? That's the truth. And so, you know, Let's learn how to draw water droplets because when you get it right, it's so cool. It feels like, yes, yeah. And I actually did dribble a bit of water onto a mix mat and I stared at it and I, and I thought, yeah, okay, I get why, you know, I get it. And I let it r run around a little bit to catch the light so I understood where the light comes from and where the shade is. But I thought we could just, it's a really easy technique. Okay, come on then. Get your pencils out. Are you ready? I definitely need me different glasses on. I think this will be fun. Let's have a look. Okay. Which ones do I want to wear? I'm sport for choice. They make me feel seasick. The day madness. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, so the first thing we want to do, let's have a look here. The first thing we want to do, draw draw three shapes. Let's. I'm going to suggest that you use the light pencil. Now, the light one. What I'm talking about is is like H. The the H is the harder the the harder the lead, the lighter the pencil. The softer the lead, the darker. Okay. So what we want to do first of all is establish the shape, isn't it? So let's just do that and. I say, I'll just do it down here. So I, because otherwise, because I'm a lefty, what I'm going to do is if I put it up there. I'm just going to rub my hand all over that one, aren't I? Which is my best one. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to make a, I'll do a couple of circles. Well, not circles. I'm going to do a couple, like the boulders, the one like that. I'll do one there. And then I'll do, I'll do another one there as well. There you go. I'm just going to do two. You can't, you can hardly see, you can hardly see it, but it is there. In fact, let's go in a bit tighter, shall we? Let's go in a bit tighter. Do you fancy trying this? I thought it would be really cool to do. Let me just get in on the act a little bit tighter. There you go. Now you can see my, my can't you? Let's have a go at this. Right, so let's have a look. Where are they? Here's one there and there's the other one there. Are you cool with that? 
Right, so what we're going to do now, we've got our shape and what we want to do is, I'm just going to show you where, the, where it goes. The shadow, it comes on the, just very lightly, make a little, like a, a shape like that, like a, I'm going to go a little bit harder so you can see it. Right, so round I come, it's going to be a little bit darker than yours, just so that you can see it. Right, now you can see it, and can you see my, so I don't want to make it too dark, but there, that kind of reflection piece. Mm -hmm. So, I'll do another one, I'll do two at the same time, come on. If it takes a whole hour, wouldn't it be great if we can do this afterwards? And we can always ink the picture tomorrow if we run out of time. I don't think we will though. I, it didn't take that long. Right, you want to make it smooth as you can, right? She said. <laughs> it's because I'm pressing hard so you can see it. Right, okay, that'll do. Right, so put your little your bit that's going to be the light reflect. The lights come in here like that, see? So put your thing in, like so. Yeah? Okay. So this is your, your lightest pencil and you're going to get used to working with three different depths of pencil really. So you, so the media, so your light one, if you, if you use it on the side, let me show you over here. If you use it on the side like that, you get a really light shade, don't you? Like that. Right. So bear that in mind. And if you use it upwards, like so, really, really go in little circles, you, you'll find it very difficult not to get lines. So that's why when we're shading, what we're going to do is go to the medium one, the black one, buffer black, right? So your HB would do this job. If you've only got an HB, use an HB, right? So what we're going to do now, right, just... We're going to really lightly, hardly touching the paper. Get yourself a bit of a, have I got the right one here? Yeah, B. Right, get yourself a bit of a chisel going. Mine's ever so sharp. It's yours. Right, let me just get a bit of chisel going first. So as I do this, it will get softer and flatter. Look, see? That's better. If you're working with a real point, you're going to be struggling. Okay, so now what we want to do is get on the inside. We're, we're working on the inside, this area here. Okay, so let's just take the, the pencil and let's just add a little bit of shade around there, like that. Light circular motions and stay on the inside and go round your, your light bubble, your reflection piece, and just go round like that with your black or your HB if that's what you've got, that's fine. Right, stay on the inside and what we're gonna do is kind of make, if you can imagine, an invisible crescent. So it's like, if you look at mine, you'll see it's like a crescent moon here, isn't it? Look, you see? It's really dark in there and it gets lighter as it comes towards this point here. So, so we're going to, but we're going to use not the dark pencil, the mid, the one in the middle. Or like I say, if you've only got an HB, then use that. Right, so see I'm making a kind of a crescent moon here. Right, so let's go round. Is this all right? Can you see it all right? Right. Let's do the let's do this one as well. Let's do two. So again, staying on the inside like that. Stay on the inside and just give yourself that kind of that crescent moon there. Like that. Really lightly, hardly touching the paper. You see? It's good to do. Stay on that inside. Right, and this is a really good lesson, this one in particular, is a really good lesson in learning how to keep going. It doesn't, it's not over till it's over. Until you put the real dark lines in, it doesn't, it's not going to ping, okay? So now we've done that, we're still staying on the inside, aren't we? Coming in a little bit on that edge there, round we go. We don't want to press too hard. See, if you were to do this on like watercolour paper or, or some kind of paper that's got a bit of um, tooth, you know what I mean by that, like a bit of texture, then if you press too hard, 
then you're going to just press out the texture, kill the tooth, so to speak. So it's better to just add loads of layers. You see, I, as I go over this again and again with the pencil, it's like it's like colouring in, isn't it? It's going to get darker and darker. Right, so now I'll come back to this one, add another little layer. It's a really good exercise in, you know, when we do our colouring and we learn about pressure, this is the one that it really... Let's have a look. Right, so now we're going to come round the inside of the that... Uh, that reflection thing, that little light reflector, right? There you go. So we go on the inside, do both at the same time. Like that. See? Let's have a look if this camera... No, this camera's rubbish. Let's stick with this camera so you can see it from above. You can see this okay, can't you? Right, so what you don't want to get is stripes. So, like circular motions, like that. Okay, so let's leave the inside just for a minute. Let's say we've got that kind of, we might have to come in a little bit more, but that'll do for now. And now what we're going to do, we've done that bit, now come round the outside. We're coming round the outside of the water bubble, the water droplet. So here now, around here, we're going to, let's make a little bit of shading. We'll be good at this because we've done this so much. So now on the opposite side, we're going to make a drop shadow, if you like, to coin a phrase. There you go. See? So let's just get that in there like that and let's get a drop shadow going. Still using the B, the, the middle, the medium one, you know, or HB would do the job as well, I think. Right, let's have a go. If that's all you've got, then that's what you've got to work with, isn't it? You use what you've got. Use what you've got. So you can see already, this is going to give us another... Let's go out a little bit further, right? A little bit further. We're trying to avoid getting stripes. What we're trying to do is get a bit of shadow going. So nice little circular motions. Just get that shadow in. Be good when it's done, but I think it's worth having a go. Don't you fancy being able to do that? Right, come on, let's do this one on this side now. Right, so round we go again, opposite corner. See, that little one's nice, isn't it? So have a look, see, so you've got right round there. You're going to spend the whole day doing this, you know. <laughs> I bet you do. If you're hanging out at home, just grab yourself a piece of paper and go for it. Right. So I'm getting a little bit of a line going there. So I'm going to have to think about that. Soften it a bit. Right. Round we go. Right. So now I've done that with the black one. Both are black. Okay. This is a little bit... Right. Now, we want to smooth this out a little bit before... This is what I would suggest anyway. I want to smooth this out a bit before I start with the black, the dark, dark, dark. So, let's go for our, should we go for our nib thing? We'll go for our blending pen. If you haven't got this, if you haven't got this, try a Q-tip. Try, you know, like, one of those. Try one of those. Not wet, dry, because we're using these graphite pencils. The, the Q-tips don't work very well with the polychromos. That's a fact. I just, I know that because it, it just doesn't, it's not good enough. It's not, it's too loose, the cotton. But I think with graphite pencils, I think you'll find that you can actually, it's a smudge that you're after. It's that smudging, moving it around a little bit, blending in. So I reckon that if you haven't got these to hand, try, try a, what are they called? Um, cotton bud, cotton bud. I think that's what they're called, aren't they? What do we call these? Q-tips. Other brands are available. Right, so, and then what we're going to do, let's go on the inside, right, and we want to avoid getting that bit greyed up. We, we want to leave that white. So now what we're going to do is just smooth out this edge here, and you'll see as you come round, look, we're going to use this a few times. Right, so that's smoothing that round. See, in this area here, what, yeah, see, look, 
So where I was getting a little bit liney, if you come round like this, see how it makes it really smooth? It's cool. It's very cool. Right, so you can use the the blending pen to smooth that out. Well, like I say, I reckon a Q-tip will do the job too. Right, so we've got that much going now. It already looks good, doesn't it? You can see, you can see what we're up to. Let's blend this one as well. I bet you already know how to do this. I bet you're sitting there like that. Come on, Gray. We did this 10 years ago. Well, it's very relaxing. I think it's very effective. And I reckon it'd be really cool if we could put a, put a few of these come in the bubbles, like bubbles coming from the the fishies, eh? I love it. And even if you don't put f bubbles, who cares? Nice to be able to do this, I think. Okay, so we've smoothed out the... Yeah, smooth it out. Now, here's the thing. This is so weird. I'm looking at this like on the paper and I think it looks like rubbish and then I look up at the screen and I think dynamite it's weird and that's what happened to me when I was when I was doing this I was looking down and it just looked like rubbish but as soon as I looked up at the screen I thought cool that's more like it and so don't get despondent yet <laughs> in fact don't get despondent it's only a bit of copy paper let's have a go with the dark one now I'm going to use the 4B from the tin, but you can use a dark. You just want a dark, soft black graphite pencil. And so what we're going to do now, you see, this is where we add depth closer to the line. And we start to, but we stay on the inside at the top. This is where the light's hitting it. So we're going to stay on the inside here. But you'll see, because we didn't press too hard before, you watch the blackness. It comes up really well. Right, so in we go. We're going to get this really dark now. Right. There we go. So we'll get a good old... This is where I need my day madness, I think. Let me see if it makes me feel seasick or if it's better now. Oh, no, that's better. Right, now we're cooking with gas. Okay. So... Round we come round here as well, because this is going to make this pop. Light, little circular motions. You are right with this? I know it's a little bit labour intensive. It's good though. It's good when it's done. Right, so add a little bit of grey round there. And then come round here and stick right tight to that line. You know we've done this so much when we're colouring, haven't we? You know when we get right in there. See, and you know like when we turn the pencil to make it sharper. You know, to get a point. So we use the flat, don't we? And then and then to get a point, we flip the chisel around, don't we? You know what I'm talking about. Right, so now, let's go around here. Let's add a bit more. It's like a crescent on the inside and a crescent on the outside. Can you see that? It's a crescent on the inside of the water and a crescent on the outside. It's almost like you're repeating it, if you like. So let's just... Just get a little bit of a crescent going. I don't feel I need to rush, if you don't mind. I think this is a, a worthy exercise. Right, there you go. So we've got that round there, okay, on the inside. I can't wait to see yours, your bubbles, your droplets. And then we've got this one on the outside. So the bubble is still there. Don't get confused. This is on the outside of the bubble. Okay. So it looks a little bit weird at the moment, doesn't it? I know. I agree. So we'll just come around there slightly. I probably ought to be using the lighter pencil for that bit, but whatever. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get that blending out again, because we want to move this around a bit. We want to smooth this out, because it looks a little bit weird like this. Yeah, it doesn't look bad, but it looks a little bit severe, doesn't it? So what we want to do now 
see this bit here? We're going to smooth this out. We've got choices. We can do two things. We can drag this out with a blending pen or we can take our, we can take, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Or you could just go lighter. So you could take, that's the 4B, black, and then maybe add an, a little bit more of the lighter colour a bit further away. See what I mean? So now it's going to be a little bit lighter. So the shadow's coming away like that. There, let's have a go. Let's use the blender or the Q-tip. And what we'll do is we'll come in tight and we'll just smooth this out, watch. And we're just going to smooth this out. So we, look what a difference it makes when you just blend that colour. The graphite smooths out so nicely. Right, there you are. So now that's the the drop shadow underneath, if you like, the water, bu the water bubble, the water droplet. That looks right, doesn't it? Hey, does that look right? And then above that one, still not dark enough, you see. So we're going to take our 4B. Now I'm going for it. Now I'm going to bring this in real dark, just this edge here. And then this one here, I'm going to come in real dark on the inside. Here we go. Just on that, try and keep it smooth. Bubbles are very smooth, aren't they? See, I've got a bit of a lump now. That's all right. It's an experiment. There we are. So you come round just tightly like that. I reckon this is going to look right. Yeah, it's a little bit of a lump there, but do you know, Let's not sweat the small stuff. Cool, I haven't said that for a while. Don't sweat the small stuff. Just enjoy the ride, hey? Look, we're gonna come around, smooth this out. See, and then if you wanted to, you could bring the this grayness here, if you wanted to, you bring it down a bit further, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna take my B, my darker one, not my totally dark one, just my medium one, and just add a little bit more depth. I think it needs it. I do, I think it needs it, especially now I've made that, I've got that lump there, that looks like rubbish. Don't sweat the small stuff, but get rid of that lump. Okay. Right, where was I? The B. Yes, the B pencil. But I reckon, I'm going to go the darker one now. Just get that lovely, let's put a bit of that colour down. Yeah, you definitely want to use the darker pencil and then blend it into the bubble. Blend it into that droplet area there. So you're bringing this round now. You're bringing that crescent round further, look. See, and that soft pencil, that's now come in nicely. Just smooths off, lovely. Q-tips do the job too. You want to keep that clean, that area there, you see. And then just to finish off, I'm going to take my my B, my, my middle of the road pencil, and I'm going to join up the two ends. There you go. There. Works well, doesn't it? Hey, okay. So you've got a really light one. See, I didn't go to that one. I went to this one. I kept going. And you can see that I could add a little bit more depth under here if I wanted to. See how you can just keep adding and adding and adding? It, all that does is change the angle of the light. That's all that will do. As I do this, I'm just going to change the angle that the light's hitting it. That's all this is about. See? But in essence, it's done. There you are. See? It's all about opposites, like that. What do you think? Do you like? Hmm? You like? I think so. I think it works well. Give it a go. I know we spent half an hour on it, but it's a good lesson to learn. It's an arty trick, isn't it? It's an arty illusion, hey? So there you go. We'll leave that one there. I hope you enjoyed that. And now I think what I'd like to do is go back to our piece of artwork. Should we go back to our doodle? Let's have a look. Because I think now we can relax. We've done our exercise for the day. That's the, I think it's always a good idea to stretch yourself a little bit, you know, just a little bit. And then, 
and then walk away from it and let it percolate a bit, you know, and then go back and try again. And the other thing is, if you're, if you're staring at it, after a while, it looks like rubbish. But then when you go back to it, hold it away from yourself. And I think that looks totally dimensional. When I look at that, I think that looks absolutely as if it could just roll off. You see? Even the light ones, the very light ones where I was practicing earlier on. So have a play and then you'll see that you can add that little skill set into your toolbox. And one day you'll say, I know what I want to do. I want to draw a beautiful rose and I want to draw dew on the rose. I want to draw a little dew drop on that petal and you'll know how to do it. And that's cool. So put that in your um, little skill set in your toolbox because you never know when you might need it. Eh? Right, so let's... We've done our little stretching exercises. That was our mental yoga with the pencils. And now what I'd really like to do is start some inking. Do you fancy? Because it's so relaxing. Inking up is so relaxing, isn't it? Hey? And I thought I'd like to do this area here and work my way up only because I, I just think that that's the way forward. Let me just grab a piece of paper. You up for this? Guys, hey, you up for it? Let me just grab a bit of paper. It's been great under the sea. I'm a little bit of a water babe, me. What about you? I'm Pisces anyway, so clue, I guess so. I guess, hey. Um, I need a bit of copy paper. Only so, see, I've got a bit of copy paper now. So that means that I can, I can, Make sure my pen's good. So I'm using the number one to do the main thrust of the shells. I'm going to start with the shells because they're at the front of the picture, see? So I thought I'll start with the front and then I'll work my way up and out. So I'm going to go right to that first shell that we did. You know that? The ashtray one. <laughs> Is it called? I don't know. Is it an abalone? Is it a cockle? I don't know. Right, you ready? I think this would be a nice, a nice place to start. Let's have a look. Right, so now if I come in on that angle there, then I can, I can come right over. Do you notice I've cut my nails? Look, cut them right back. I took your advice because it's p -p 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 pottery on a Wednesday and I thought I was fed up with constantly gouging my blinking pots. You know, you spend ages making it all lovely and then you put your blinking fingernail through it. So, I cut them all right back. Away I said, vanity. Vanity and pottery don't go together. So, while we're doing this, this is gonna be relaxing. Let's have a look. And just get into the groove. Right, that reminds me, get into the groove. Okay, so at 11 o'clock, when we finish here, Paul Church, this is actually very cool. Paul is doing a live Skype demo. It's a Pergamano show on the telly, okay? Um, but instead of doing pre-recorded, we're trying something new. Because we really, we need to stay safe. There is no doubt about that. And so, um, so what we're doing is we've got some new kit, technical kit. And if all goes well, at 11 o'clock today and at 3 o'clock, Paul's going to be actually demonstrating live from the studio over at Clarity Towers in the new building. So we've got two studios, we've got one here in the Shack Shack for me, and then we've got one over in the main building for Paul. And, um, and so it will be really interesting to see how that goes, how, the, how live Skyping goes. And especially because what we've rigged up, if this works, 
happy days, what we've rigged up is um, a three camera system. You know, like we've got here, camera one, camera two, camera three from the side, right? So Paul is going to try and do a, um, I've got a hair, and it's attached to my face. Well, not my face, my head. That's better. Um, so he's going to try this. He's going to do the three-way camera Skype. That will be amazing if that works. And he's the guinea pig, so he's going to bless him. And then next Wednesday, it's my turn. So, so all things being equal, my turn next Wednesday, I'll be doing the same thing um, at, at one o'clock and five o'clock with some beautiful um, new stamps. They're, well, you probably remember, if you're a groovy person, you'll probably remember the heart sampler. There's a beautiful... Uh, groovy plate with hearts, different hearts on it. Linda, I'm sure Linda designed it. Beautiful thing. And, um, and we decided to turn it into stamps as well. So it's really, they're so nice, these heart stamps. Oh, they just dynamite, really. So my job next week, all things being equal, I'm going to do a live Skype at um, at one o'clock and five o'clock. So that's my pottery down the kibosh. That's that sorted. Next week, no pottery, but hey ho, I'll get back to it eventually. It's just the way it is. And as I said earlier, it is never the event, but how you respond to it, which will ultimately affect you. And, do you know, I'm sure I can survive without pottery for a Wednesday. There you go. Isn't this looking good? You see, and that's what I love about this. When you, when you sketch it and you pencil it and you make sure that your composition is all right, you kind of, um, you... You can't see how beautiful it is until you add your line art. Don't you think so? So let's have a look at one of these. This is a pretty special shell. And this is to me, this is the relaxing part. What about you? Do you find that as well? I find this, this is the, the Zen, the, the real mindful process, this one. When we're drawing and when we're, when we're drawing and sketching and doodling and learning how to draw things like we have done all week, all this jazz and like doing the doing the um, the droplets. When you do all those things, um, the, I don't find that particularly uh, re relaxing. I, I, I find it fun and I find it educational and I love that we get together and we do those things. Right. Otherwise, what would we do? You know? However, um, when we come to start penning, like what we're doing now, see, to me, this is when you, you get in the zone. And it's like the groovy process, isn't it? It's like the groovy process, exactly that. And you get in this zone and you just chill. And you haven't got to think about... You haven't got to think about what you're doing. You've just got to... Well, you have got to think about what you're doing. That's rubbish. But what I mean is you haven't got to compose. You haven't got to think about it at that level. You've just got to follow your pen. Follow your lines. Look. Take your time. Enjoy the process. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs>
this is where you really see our, all our work the first three days. And if you're not sure about the patterning within one of the shells, then stop, stop. Don't, don't keep going unless you're absolutely happy with your doodle. Like that one, I'm not quite sure what, I'm, what I did there. I've got some scar bits going on and all sorts. So I'm like, mm, do you know what? I'm not sure about that one, so I'll leave that for the minute. I'll do this one instead. So this is our this was our Mr. Whippy, wasn't it, yesterday? <laughs> Here we go. It's a marvellous mindful process this is, you know, col colouring is and, and I find I find this kind of this part of the doodling is as well. There. Calm. Hey. Okay. What have we got going on here? I'm going to come up there like that. That's it. And we've got this big, beautiful one around the back, haven't we? Here we are. Do you know that this is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is coming up for the end of tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? What's today? Thursday. Tomorrow it will be the end of week 18 that we've been getting together. We missed one week, didn't we, when I took a week out to sort out some business. Yes. That's, that's a lot of doodling, you know, guys. I'm going that way. I'm coming this way. So I'm going to do these next. My starfish. They're a beautiful thing, aren't they? There we are. Cool, I tell you what, I needed this today. I needed this today. Isn't it funny how you... Just calm right down. When I, when I, um, when I left pottery yesterday, I went in this little organic farm shop and there was a, there was a lady in front of me. They've got real stringent rules about only one in the building and what have you. Anyway, there was a lady in, in front of me and um, she was a bag of nerves. She, I could, it was just oozing, you know, it, she was just so n nervous and agitated. You, you never know what's going on in a person's life, do you? And I, um, I could feel it. I could, f it was just emanating. I said to her, are you okay? You know, as you do. I said, you okay? And she said, I'm so anxious. I'm so anxious and I don't even know why. And I thought, well, I, I, I think I, I could figure out, you know. So there's a lot to be anxious about. And we had a little chat. I felt so sorry for her because she was, she was just a, a bag of nerves, you know. But what do you know? What do you know what's going on in her life? What do you know? No idea. We never know, do we? That's why we've got to tread carefully with people, always. You don't know what's coming up around in their life. That's what I think. Often you, sometimes we get customers who are really aggressive, like to Janine on the phone or just, or to Grace. Grace gets some real stick, you know. But I'm not saying that to complain because both Janine and Grace, they are fully aware that people are under so much duress at the moment and their task is to calm these customers down, not agitate them. 
certainly not agitate them. They've got in, they've got, they're agitated enough. Whether it's, you know, they, maybe say, for example, the order is late or we're struggling to get the order out or we're not answering our emails quickly enough or it could be so many different things. And they get, sometimes people get really aggressive. And um, Grace and Janine have a real skill for calming, calming people down, you know, calming people down and and taking that anger away that's why they they're good at their jobs you know and then um and they don't get the, the, i mean grace very very rarely they'll get what i would call exasperated you know where they where it gets to them in the main they understand that never it's never been, you know, people have always got shit going on in their lives. But now it's like layers of it, layers and layers and layers of shit. Excuse the expression. I'm not going to put a line there because I'm going to do that with shadow. Do, do you know what I mean? On the, um, on the starfish, I want to, I want to leave the, although I penciled the line in, look, have a look. I'm going to leave those lines because I want to do them with shading. I think that would look really cool with shading. Do you agree? It's up to you. It's your artwork. Hey, it's your artwork. You could do what you fancy. I think it's important that you own your art, you know? And whatever's good for you. You got, you know, I'm no expert. Good God, I'm no expert. Um, and there are there are those of you who will just, you haven't got the energy, you haven't got the, you know, you're worn out with so many things that you just want to just tuck in behind me and just copy what I do, you know, and that's fine. And then there are others who, who are full of beans and and want to really do their own thing. And you know, that's fine too. It so is. It so is. You do what you like. You know, when we were in the woods, when we went down the woods a couple of weeks ago, <gasps> some of the artwork that y y some of you came out with, you know, and are still coming out with, I'm still seeing so much beauty, so much beauty. It's crazy good. And it makes me really happy when I see that. Because every time I see another piece of artwork with a toadstool or something lovely like that, I think, yeah, well, somebody's had a good afternoon. Somebody's had a creative session. Somebody's switched off and got into the into that mindful process of doodling and colouring in and experimenting you know when you're when we're crafting we know this I mean hands up how many of us are crafters like it's in our DNA you know I would say that in the main most people that gather here at 10 o'clock every morning Monday to Friday we are crafters aren't we of some description we craft, we use our hands. We're happiest when we're working with our hands, making something, you know? And, and I suppose that, that all we're doing here, apart from getting together, there are loads of reasons for getting together and doing this. Apart from, apart from being creative, which is where we, we're gonna be most comfortable, aren't we? This is, this is, this is what turns us on, right? This is the, this is what gives us a buzz. But what we do isn't as important is for me. I can only speak for myself. What I do is not as important as that I do it. And and how it comes out is not as important as the process for me. I don't care if this starfish is a little bit weird. 
I... I really don't care. I just want to draw a starfish. And I'm not going to get hung up. Perfectionism will cripple you. It can be your best friend and it can be your worst enemy, can't it? There you go, that's all right. Good enough. Not finished yet, I've shaded it. <laughs> I haven't finished yet, have I? Now, let's have a look. I'm, I'm deciding where to go next. I think I would like to do the, the kelp from the kelp forest. Let's do the kelp next. I'm just going to follow my lines. That was one of the things that I noticed yesterday as well, which was really, really cool. I, I was reading uh, on Facebook, I was just reading somebody's comment, as I do, you know, it would be rude not to. And, um, and a lady said, one of, the, one of the ladies that's obviously part of the Shack Shack, she said that she, she'd been to Monterey and she remembered this. And, you know, and then another lady said, um, that she'd she'd seen um, the seahorses in uh, I think it was in Florida and 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 so what happens is when we get together like this, see it happens for me and it's brilliant because we're not traveling anywhere at the moment. So what happens for me is it evokes all these memories. I I've I've had such a fabulous week apart from just hanging out with you lot, with you good people. I've also, I've had a trip down memory lane. I thought about when we used to live in Monterey, about my friend when we used to go running in the ocean for sand dollars. I haven't thought about that for years. But but when you're doing these things and you're studying and you're, you're introducing your other friends to sand dollars, then suddenly you think, oh, hang on a minute, what about that? Do you remember that? And so this, this shack shack, it's, it's, it's brilliant. We, I mean, you know, I, I think so because it, it wakes us up to, to memories that we wouldn't otherwise go to, if you know what I mean. It opens doors in my head which have been closed for years and years. Good doors. Good doors. I'm not, um, I don't tend to live in the past. I'm ten, I tend to move on quickly. I, 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 I just, you know. I'm not a, I don't dwell in the past. Certainly don't dwell um, in the bad past, you know? It's not, it's not, it just serves no purpose. That's my, my thing. And, um, and so, do you know, I'm thinking I might use an 05 on this. You know when you think, hang on a minute, this is a bit fat for lovely kelp. Let's have a look if this is going to be better. Yeah, see if this is better. It's just it's a little bit tight, I'm thinking. <laughs> Sorry. What was I saying? Yeah, I don't, I tend not to dwell in the past. It was bad enough at the time in the sad past. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, 005. But sometimes what happens is when you shut the past down, and don't get me wrong, I don't regret it, nor wish do I shut the door. I don't wish to shut the door on it either, you know. But, but I'm so busy living today that I um, I don't have a lot of time to think about the past. And so it's really nice when we're doing this to um, to conjure up those memories again. It's amazing. The, the memory is an amazing thing. How much we remember as well, don't you find? It baffles me how much we remember. We're so lucky. We're so lucky. Yeah, we really are. I would not want to lose my memory. I really would not. Now, 
So this is quite cool, isn't it? Can we carry on with this tomorrow, do you think? If we could finish this tomorrow, I mean, look, we're halfway there, look. And then tomorrow we could finish, let's just get this kelp going. We could finish the inking, couldn't we? And then we could put the boat in and then the best bit, we could put the shade in. We could really do some shading with the pencils again, couldn't we? What do you think? Is this working out all right? Amazing what you do with a bit of copy paper and a pencil, isn't it? Hey? Cool, I'm into this. I'm right into this. Yeah. Cool, I'll tell you another thing I did last night and then I'll, I'll finish on this note. I was watering the plants in the garden and there was this thing, a really heavy iron thing, just in the middle of the patio. And I, I got it, I caught it with my toe. Oh, I thought I'd broken my foot. I thought I'd broken my foot. That was like, really hurt. So now, that was just before we were gonna go for a walk. So my foot's come up some lovely colors. But it's all right, it's not broken. Nothing terminal, but it bloody hurt. You do sometimes, don't you think? Oh, God, could have done without that. But there you go. It's not broken. Well, Dave reckons it's not. <laughs> Hang on, you can't draw and laugh, Gray. Love this kelp forest. Hmm? Can't have thought about kelp since I lived in Monterey. So let's have a look. It's 11 o'clock and I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to thank Stuart. I, 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 I want to switch on and, and watch Paul uh, on, on the Hochanda. Uh, and I want to see this Skype. I've got to see if this works because I'm next. <laughs> and also, if you love just um, relaxing into your art, if you like kind of Zen crafting, then, then perhaps you ought to have a look at hochanda.com, check Paul out and, and see what he's up to on the Pergamano shows. Be great. We, he needs a bit of support with this new Skype. So let's, let's all head over to Hochanda and watch him and see how he's getting on. Thank you for joining me. Stuart, thank you too. Like, follow and share the Shack Shack. And, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock and we'll finish inking this. Maybe, if you feel inclined, you could add a few little bubbles and a bit of water, a few water droplets, eh? Why not? Give it a go. Lots of love to you. Bye-bye now.